to make more money, you know? And when I say more money, it's not magic, lah. It's like, what kind of data, what kind of post, uh, posting creative that makes people want to click on the buy now button? Or what kind of story that makes people want to share more so that more people are aware, especially the people who are your target market? So uh, the tools allow us to do all those things and uh, to a certain higher level and um, and the more. So I'm not even at the peak yet. There are actually more levels than that to become a premium like a partner. And mm. the more you get, the more access you have into what they're going to do next. You know, for example, I if I told you that maybe three months before Instagram stories come out, they say you need to prepare these vertical videos and how to utilize the, the interactivity, you know, polling, votes and all these things. Then when the Facebook launch that, that feature, Facebook or any other platform will, will do a lot of feature, um, like a focus. Uh, you know Instagram Reels, right? I'm sure mm. you know the, the, Instagram yes. Reels. I do. So now you see Instagram use is the main button in the middle. It's no longer the pre post, but the main button in the middle because they want to beat TikTok. Right? That? They want okay, to beat, yeah. uh, 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 what do you call that? The other one. Um, uh, 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 so, sorry, I can't remember now already. But you know, they, 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 they are they're beating each other. So as the first to know this, and I tell you as my client, then we are preparing all this content. You are Your content is the first everybody sees. So mm. this is the purpose of. Uh, the requirement I shared with you already, you know, how to get there. And this is the purpose of uh, having this kind of relationship with Facebook where you are the first and um, to, to create the content and everybody to see. So this is like, a, yeah, the purpose of getting this. And it's not just Facebook, right? There's also TikTok and other platforms that you can work with and they're more than happy to teach you uh, how, to, how to use their platforms. Okay, right. Um, well, you just reminded me that you know, the last time when we sell property, we used to advertise it on newspaper. Okay, so right That's now fine. we advertise on Facebook. Probably we spend a couple of thousand ringgit and all these agents are complaining. But the last time when we start advertising on the newspaper, they have got a few things, you know. You can choose whether black and white. Black and white is 50,000 per page. And then if you yes. choose like two colors, don't know how much. If you choose all the four colors, you're going to come out around 150,000 to 200,000 for just one page. And that is only like, you know, one or two days kind of advertisement. And, yeah. But then that doesn't allow you a direct filtration like what you mentioned just now. You can't filter off the age. You can only filter off whoever that want to read the, uh, the star. So you could only gauge that the star will be a businessman or a college or something like that. You can't have a very uh, meticulous and tedious uh, kind of a metric. Yeah, I do agree with you. But then again, um, when you talk about all this kind of metric, right? Recently, there is a new thing that is coming up from the Apple. Um, there's a new box that come up from the Apple that filter off all this kind of... Uh, what is that? I'm, I'm not sure how do you call it, but they try to filter off all these kind of um, things that the metrics uh, to yeah, pixel, pixel. Uh, so that they you won't be able to gauge all this kind of Apple user who are they and what they want. Okay, for you, do you are you having the same issue with this kind of Apple user? Okay, that's a that's a great question. So it's not just Apple that's doing it. They're actually following after Google. Um, you know, Google is turning off third party cookies as well, mm. which makes up about of how we know that you know who you are, right? When you yeah. surf the sites and they start cooking in your uh, browser, and then like you know you will know who you've been visiting so that you can get a better idea of who you are. So privacy has been a very big issue and that's how these companies are responding because they're being sued left, right, center mm. by the same people, not the people who like don't want people to track. So how is this going to affect digital marketers? Now, I can tell you this. It will, will make us work harder to make sure that we give the right value to the people that we really want to get capture. You know, why do you give your email to, um, you know, uh, FC shop? Or Lazada, you know, why do you give your email to um, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Shopify, you know, um, mm. uh, the, 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 the brands uh, that run on Shopify because they have, they have systems that will tell you, oh, you know, we'll give you uh, uh, discounts, we'll give you offers, and all these things. So there's a difference between I track you without you knowing, which is what, uh, as you point out, Apple is doing, right? Now you install any apps on Apple, they will actually ask you, you know, do you allow this app to track your activity outside mm. of the app or so? No? So that the, the what we should be doing, which is what they are doing, is let the person know that I'm tracking you, but why? Because I want to give you best results. Best, I want to tell you what you should buy. Um, 
when I uh, when I watch my Netflix movie, you know, I want to I want to know which next movie that will make me feel like you know I'm, I'm gonna watch nicer. Because mm-hmm. otherwise, I don't know what movie to watch. You know, when I buy this product from your website, um, I want you to be able to tell me, uh, you know, by the email or by WhatsApp, you know, that hey, you're likely gonna like this. And I do, I will do like this. So we have to be more intelligent as marketers to provide best value to the person who's, who's going to give you more data about themselves. And I think that's going to be the future of this, um, uh, you know, uh, any any sort of marketing. Now, not just uh, not just your traditional survey, you know, and all these things, but any marketing, the, the value needs to be in, in line with what I'm asking from you. It's interesting because for me, I don't mind people tracking this. Um, I mean, I don't like people track me for uh, where did I go or whatnot, but I don't right. mind people tracking me for what I serve so that they can give me like you know they can give me some opinion or recommendations um like for example right now uh, a lot of people are serving for mooncake you know um mm. ritz carlton sandwiches has been you know pop up in my facebook and i find this is really helpful for me because i can compare all these kind of products and but not to everyone i i suppose but some people who um are still using Apple, they will find that it's really hard for them to have some recommendation because the all this kind of uh, advertisement, it will just randomly pop up. So, um, comparing to Facebook right now, um, they have got Google Ads, they have got uh, Facebook, aside from just Facebook, you know, Facebook is linked to Instagram, so I will just group them as Facebook. So Facebook and Google Ads, YouTube's LinkedIn, uh, which is up and coming right now. LinkedIn is the next uh, platform to advertise. So what are the differences in them and uh, what is it able to serve us in terms of audience and the effectiveness? So this is a very tough question. Um, I, I remember asking, uh, telling, explaining this question to a lot of mm. clients because everybody's asking me that, so right? After all, you are a business, you don't have a lot of our resources and you need to focus. So actually, there's no real answer. Like, mm. uh, you can't say that, oh, um, uh, you know, Facebook is where these type of people are or LinkedIn is where these type of people are. It used to be the case, but as people evolve, um, you know, it becomes a functional tool. I go to LinkedIn to, to, to be a professional. You know, I go to Facebook to, uh, uh, to, to talk about my personal stuff. And, and now the young people are not even going to Facebook for personal stuff. Why is mm. that? Because their parents are there, right? <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> they, yeah. So they keep finding new, you know, new places. I find this really so, interesting because right? every single thing that, you know, I, I share on Facebook, I have no intention to share it with my parents or with my in-laws. But you know, somehow they actually got that answer, which is quite scary because they have spy on my Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, correct. So these are people who want to know your information, but mm. there are people who don't want to know your information. There are, there are people who say, I'm not going to share that because I don't want anyone to see. And this is the current generation and new thing, which is why even old platforms like Facebook and Instagram is, are creating something like, uh, uh, you know, what we call it disappearing messages. You know, it disappears after 24 hours. Uh, so these are new trends that are coming up. That's why it's so hard to say, oh, this platform is for this, this platform is for that. It really is all about understanding your audience and running a lot of experiments to find out where do they, you know, where, where they are looking. You know, where maybe they prefer to, to, to join, for example, Facebook groups only and not just a Facebook page. Maybe some people like Telegram now, you know, because it's a, they say what set a lot of like the hidden, you know, you say you say something and they are listening without you knowing and then they can give you ads, right? Like, actually it's not true, <laughs> you know, but they will believe this. So, so a lot of platforms, it's difficult for us, correct. It makes things tough for us, but it just means that we just have to be clever. We just have to, we have to do more research. We have to give more incentive. We have to find out, you know, from our our customers, you know, hey, what actually what do you like to use? And just now we talk about the privacy thing, right? The choice, the choice of, I want you to give me information to give you value, and I don't want to be a sneaky guy, you know, mm. cookie, the party cookies, and also the you know Apple apps and Android apps are. Uh, Checking all your data without you knowing, these are sticky. So we, if we adopt these two new systems together, then um, you know we would we will be able to find out that uh, LinkedIn. Okay, this is where this type of people, eighty uh, percent of my customers come in. So I need to focus eighty percent of my budget there, mm, right? Okay. And then the rest of them will Facebook twenty percent because no matter what, you cannot skip Facebook. That's where the major majority population is there. So um, I would say do a lot of research on the different platforms and uh, no, sorry, do a lot of research on your audience. 
and then find out which platform they are in, and then we start creating that um, you know strategy for each of the different platforms because the biggest challenge that people face is that they always create the same content for all platforms, and that's a no no. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, yes, I agree with you, but this is something that I'm actually struggling. Okay, so um, I recently I discovered how to use a uh, story, and I find it very interesting. You can put music, you can even edit them, you can put stickers and all that. And the best part is, it's gonna only stay for twenty four hours. And you know nowadays everything that written on the Facebook can be tracked, uh, or, or even of uh, WhatsApp, it can be tracked. And it can actually be used in a court. And because my husband, my dear husband is a lawyer, um, so I tend to be very, very careful with all these kind of things. But then again, like what you say, like what you mentioned just now, uh, you do not agree with posting everything, the same thing uh, on all this platform. Which recently I've also discovered something that you can actually link together. So, for example, if I post it on Facebook, Instagram will have the same thing, and I can also link it to other platforms as well. Um, p- lazy people like me, right? Do not like <laughs> to not think about. <laughs> you're not the only one. I mean, if you don't have much resources, that is what you have to 